back. Today we are gonna do some good conditioning with some gymnastics. So I'm just gonna take you through my training session, through my warm up. I'm gonna start with a little bit of rowing, toes bar, rowing, and burpee box jumps. Um, I'm looking for more of an aerobic piece in a certain time frame, and then I'll rest between those time frames. And then from there, I'll probably hit some deadlifting because it is my deadlift day. And last time I did pause deadlifts, this time it will be sets, but it will be controlled descents. So there's still a little bit of control in there. I'm not just ripping the bar off the floor, but it's gonna be a really good day. And I'm excited that you guys are gonna get a go along this day with me. Oh, now I'm a ghost. I'm not Uh, it's cold so I've got a sweatshirt and another long sleeve and I'm sitting in the Sun because it feels like it's 10 degrees warmer in the Sun uh, it's harder to get going when it's cold so we should always warm up I don't love warm up we should always warm up but especially when it's cold and I'm sore and I'm stiff I do not want to dive right in so I hit a little bit of ski erg followed by some dead hangs and some scat pull-ups on the pull-up bar into some Turkish get up sit ups, or sorry, actually full Turkish get ups. Um, I love that movement for warm up because it warms up your midline, it warms up your glutes and your hamstrings, it warms up your shoulders. It's a super great full body warm up, and now I feel good and I feel ready to go. So we are gonna dive into, I say we, me, I'm by myself today. Pat is playing the coach role, so he's just gonna sit on the side and tell me to go faster. And I'll probably roll my eyes at him, no, I'm kidding. Um, but he'll sit on the side, he'll help me with my pacing, but we're gonna go a couple sets of um, 25 or 20 cal row into toes to bar. So 20 toes to bar, the goal will be to hit all my toes to bar unbroken. Quick transition back to the rower and then 20 burpee box jump overs for speed. And then I'll get a little bit of break between rounds and I'll do a couple sets just like that. Right now. Wake up in the morning, cut the TV on the scene, line again. Put you in the car for slap you in your office, then leave with all of your pins. I ain't giving nothing bad, Lord to the pad, pennies being dropped, money getting stashed, snakes in the grass, too many rats. Really, I be calling out my enemies, never let a hater finish me. You know this ain't no charity, only thing we giving out is energy. Riley got it covered, that's my brother, we hit you with lethal weapons, Danny Glover. Recover and get the number from your mother, tongue stuck to my bow, dumb and dumber. Why you wanna get on my bad side? Why you wanna see me be the bad guy? You wanna see me do mad crime? Grind get flat line. I've been on since diapers. About to go DC sniper. Now I'm feeling really rowdy like I'm Roddy Piper. 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 Now I'm feeling really rowdy like I'm Roddy Piper. All right, guys, that was a good one. That's a good style. So I think it's important to remember you don't always have to do a four time workout or an AMRAP and bury yourself into the ground. This is how you get better is picking, okay, I want my rowing to be at this pace every single round. And that's what you're focusing on. Or I'm gonna do my toes to bar unbroken. Or for my burpees, I'm gonna keep this pace and I'm not gonna allow myself to step, but I'm gonna try to smooth, consistent jumps. Instead of sprinting the first row, dying on the toes to bar or vice versa, whatever it is, going all out and then losing your paces. Most workouts in CrossFit are games, like you can game them. So learning how to pace and learning to know your body's capabilities is gonna be huge for you. So make sure you're not just crushing yourself every single day and burying yourself into the ground, but you're getting stuff out of your workouts and you're learning about your body and you're figuring out how to pace and how to improve. So if you do go do a local competition or you try to beat a time, you know exactly where that threshold is and that's really gonna help you guys. I hope you give this one a go, it's a, it's a burner. All right guys, this is one of my absolute favorite accessories. Um, it's full body. So you are focusing on a prone hold on the DHD. So we should definitely master that first. So with the prone hold, that means we should be able to hold in this position for at least 30 seconds before we start to add in the upper body movement. I would say closer to 60 to be honest. I'm driving my heels up into the pads, pushing my heels back into the, the wall that's on the GHD and squeezing my butt and my hamstrings. Once we're comfortable maintaining this position, we can add in the arm piece. So for the arm piece, I like to use two and a half pound plates. If I go anything heavier, I start to feel myself cheating and compensating. So I wanna make sure that I can maintain the hold with these plates. 
So I'm gonna start with a reverse fly. So I'm just driving my elbows up and back in a quick fashion. It doesn't need to be super slow, it's nice and quick. Focusing on as your elbows drive up, your shoulder blades squeeze back together. Then I'm taking it into like an external shoulder rotation. So I'm just opening my shoulder while I'm in that prone line position. So open, close, open, close. And that's gonna work the posterior shoulder. Then I'm just going into my overhead presses and I'm doing 20 of each. So I'll do two of each just to show you guys what that looks like one more time. So coming forward, making sure our feet are anchored. So I'm pressing back and then driving up, squeezing my butt, driving my elbows back. Keep your head in line so my spine is neutral. Then I go into my rotations. So I'm just opening and closing, and then I go into my presses, and then I rack. I like to do three sets, 20 flies, 20 external rotations, 20 presses, resting as needed between rounds. You could start with smaller sets until you can build up into that time under tension in that prone line hold. I get some bands and I get some bands on my little baby. Yeah. I get some bands and I get some bands on my little baby. Yeah. I get some bands and I get some bands on my little baby. Yeah. I get some bands and I get some bands on my little baby. Yeah. Lace up and drip it down to co wherever, yeah. Say the word and we take trips on with whatever, yeah. Don't bring me down, she built me up, not talking teddy bears. She not bunny, I'm not cut, but if it needs it down the ride, his hair is the way we got the same taste. Like the same faces Grinding day and night I need a vacation Bring my little baby It's a vacation I get some bands And I get some bands On my little baby yeah. I get some bands And I get some bands On my little baby yeah. I get some bands And I get some bands On my little baby yeah. I get some bands And I get some bands On my little baby yeah. It's not tricking If she's yours So no I'm spending yeah. If I got it Then she got it Tell her spend it yeah. What I own And know she owns Enough and rent it yeah. day um, updates for me nothing is crazy new so in Ohio we are still not able to open up our gym we're hoping fingers crossed for June 1st we understand they're trying to keep everyone safe and make sure that they're doing things smartly and safely so we support that we're just really chomping at the bit to get open again um, so we can bring you some more fitness from CrossFit Polaris which will be super awesome other than that training for me will start to ramp up as we lead into the Rogue Invitational, which is June 13th and 14th. And then after that, we'll reset and then ramp up into the CrossFit Games. Other than that, I'm just, you know, I had a couple weeks, I think just like you guys, where it's like the first three weeks in quarantine were fine. Um, then the next two, you start to kind of get lost a little bit and I am almost feel like I'm pulling myself back out of that. So dialing, my, dialing in my eating, I've got a great morning routine. Um, just scheduling out my days, like I've been talking to you guys about doing, because that really, really helps and it helps keep you motivated and it helps keep you moving and it makes you feel better. So if you feel like you're dragging, just hang on. Um, hopefully things will start to be lifted and start to open back up. And I think just working on picking one thing. So start your morning with five minutes of movement, 10 minutes of movement, and that'll really help get your day started and try to make yourself do it every single day. It's really helpful. I hope you guys enjoyed this session. I love sharing stuff with you. Um, trying to think, we've got exciting stuff coming, so make sure you like, make sure you subscribe, and if there's anything you wanna see, please comment below, or if you have questions on anything I did today, comment below. We'll make sure to get those answered for you. Have a great day.